one of the side benefits of the normalization of economic ties between Serbia and Kosovo was a, 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 uh, the establishment of diplomatic relations between Kosovo, a, a majority Muslim state, and the state of Israel. Uh, this is now uh, the second time in, in less than a month uh, that Israel has uh, made peace with and has normalized its ties uh, with a majority Muslim country. It's, uh, again, it's another uh, really uh, signal accomplishment uh, of President Trump. Hello, everyone. It's another historic day here at the White House, and I have with me Ambassador Rick Grinnell, National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, and Senior Advisor Jared Kushner uh, to talk to you about the history that was made here at the White House today, and then they'll take a few of your questions. Thank you, Kaylee. Uh, uh, again, it was a, uh, a great morning uh, in the Oval Office uh, with uh, President Trump, President Vucic, and Prime Minister Hoti. Uh, we brought together, uh, through the hard work of, uh, of great diplomats, primarily led by uh, uh, Rick Rennell, acting at the President's direction, uh, Serbia and Kosovo, uh, and they've normalized their economic relations. This is a, the Serbia-Kosovo conflict has gone on for decades. Uh, they've been stuck, uh, unable to move forward for many, many years, and the President uh, uh, some time ago decided that we, try, we needed to try something creative, try something new break the deadlock and bring, uh, try to, to, to move forward with the peace process with Serbia and Kosovo. Uh, to, to have the Prime Minister of Kosovo and the President of Serbia uh, together in the Oval Office was something, uh, given the history of those two countries and given the history of the United States with respect to Serbia uh, and, and the conflict in the Balkans, it is something that is, is quite remarkable. Uh, and to have this happen uh, just in the, uh, the shadow uh, a few days after uh, Jared and I were on a, the, the flight from uh, Ben Gurion Airport to Abu Dhabi International Airport, uh, the first commercial flight between Israel and a Gulf Arab state. Uh, it, it shows the sort of momentum that's coming. One of the side benefits of the normalization of economic ties between Serbia and Kosovo was a, 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 uh, the establishment of diplomatic relations between Kosovo, a, a majority Muslim state, and the state of Israel. Uh, this is now uh, the second time in, in less than a month uh, that Israel has uh, made peace with and has normalized its ties uh, with a majority Muslim country. It's, again, it's another uh, really uh, signal accomplishment uh, of President Trump. Uh, the, the fact that uh, this has happened uh, on the heels of uh, a, a peace agreement uh, with the Taliban in Afghanistan, uh, that it's happened uh, in response uh, uh, you know, on the heels of, of last year negotiating a peace, uh, uh, a ceasefire between the Kurds and the Turks. Uh, you're seeing a pattern here uh, of the president uh, being a, a true peacemaker, uh, and, and there's been plenty of criticism of the administration. But what's been interesting to me is as the president has undertaken these historic uh, initiatives uh, and, and brought together a team to perform. And, and deliver these accomplishments. Uh, others have, uh, have even tried to take credit. I was just watching uh, uh, the Vice President, without making a political comment, the Vice President was welcoming uh, these moves today. But the, the, these things could only happen under a Trump administration and, and under the President's uh, leadership, a peace through strength foreign policy and national security policy. He put the pieces in place, uh, and, and now we're reaping the, uh, uh, the peace dividend. And it's, it's happened to the Balkans, it's happened to the Middle East. Uh, and, and we have more to come. I'll, I'll leave some of that to, to uh, Senior Advisor Kushner to address in a moment. So uh, with those opening comments, I want to turn the, uh, uh, the time over to uh, uh, the Special Envoy for Serbia and Kosovo, the Presidential Envoy for Serbia and Kosovo, Ambassador Rick Grinnell. Uh, he'll have a few comments, and then we'll make ourselves available for some questions after uh, uh, Rick and Jared address you. Thank you very much.